Hello everyone, your fan Twitch mod here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Twitch Auto Mod. Now what is Auto Mod? Basically, Auto Mod is when basically a robot kinda catches certain words or phrases or block terms and mods can either deny or they can approve the message being sent in the chat. Today I'm just going to show you guys how to use it, how to get to it, and just basically explore it. If you like stuff like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And without further ado, let's get to it. So there's two ways that you can get to auto mod. You can either, from the home page, you can click on your little profile picture, go to channel, and you're gonna go to chat, go to mod view, and your auto mod queue should be right down here. So you can edit this in auto mod settings. Now, if you're a mod for another channel, you can't edit the auto mod settings unless you're an editor, I believe. If you're an editor, you can edit auto mod settings. I'm not really sure. Only the broadcaster can get to auto mod. You can also do this by going to your creator dashboard, go to settings and then go to moderation. And up here, you're going to see the auto mod controls. So we have the rule sets, which would bring you to this page. If you go back, you can put the block terms in here and you can do permitted terms in here. So there's also this thing in beta called smart detection. Now this has been in beta for a couple weeks now and is slowly rolling out to partners and affiliates. I currently don't have this, but my friend Grantis does. So I'm just going to explore this one down here. But before we get to that, we're going to go through the regular auto mod stuff. So obviously you can revert to default, which is level one, level two, level three, and level four. So that's a lot of moderation. More moderation is just level three. Some moderation level one is a little. Uh, so I'm just gonna cancel, but you can also do your own custom settings. So just in case you want one spot very heavily modded and some like, eh, I don't really care. Um, so we have hostility, we have aggression and bullying. So. I just have them on like less filtering because sometimes auto mod doesn't work that well um, and sometimes I just end up doing it myself. So I mostly have less filtering than no filtering on all of these. Um, I honestly don't play with my auto mod as much so um, but yeah that's basically auto mod. If you want to play around with these settings you can totally can. But let's go through the smart detection. So smart detection is detects unwanted messages based on mod actions taken in your channel. Currently only available in English, so hopefully this will be rolling out in other countries very soon. Messages that are likely to be deleted by moderators are led timeouts and bans will be held for review. The more actions that your mods take, the more accurate smart detection is. So say if you know you get a lot of hate raids that are specific to like homophobia. Apparently, smart detection will just auto detect it for you and those messages won't go through. So, Grantis has it set on likely messages only. You can also just turn it off altogether or you can do likely impossible messages. But if you do possible messages, it might mistake it for like out of context stuff. So, I think that's why it's on likely messages only. Uh, if you go into block terms, basically, you can just put certain words or phrases and that won't be put into the chat altogether or sometimes it will be held for review for mods to approve or deny it. And these are permitted phrases um, that you just want in there and these will not be caught by auto mod. These will just not go through, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's my short little review on auto mod. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down below and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.